Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. Jamal Charlo versus Brandon Adams. Jamal Charlo wins the fight by unanimous decision. He wasn't able to stop Brandon Adams. Let's talk about that fight real quick before we talk about the Canelo Triple G comments. You know, Jamal Charlo hurt his hand in the second round. It looked like he hurt his left hand. He wasn't very active with the jab throughout the fight. And Brandon Adams proved to be a very difficult fight for him. Very slick fighter. Kind of reminded me of a Sean Porter a little bit. You know, closing the gap, getting on the inside, roughing up Charlo. Uh, Charlo just couldn't put him away, man. And I'm not sure if it's because of that hand that was injured, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt because it seems like he won pretty much every round in that fight. But uh, Brandon Adams was pretty game for this fight. Uh, he didn't come to lay down. He made for a tough fight for Charlo. You know, after this, we'll, we'll go ahead and talk about the Demetrius Andrade and Selecki fight. I saw that one too, but I wanted to talk about this one first since it's a very important fight for the middleweight division. And, you know, with regard to the current state of the middleweight division, Jamal Charlo finally, well, he defended his WBC championship for the first time. Got the first, first defense of his title out of the way. Now, after the fight, I heard nothing but praise from Jamal Charlo as it relates to Triple G and Canelo Alvarez. And I've been thinking, I've been thinking about this for a long time. How do you get Canelo to get in the ring with you? Do you have to be vulnerable? Uh, is it a matter of the other fighter being popular enough for him to fight? Does the fighter have to be extremely flawed? I mean... As a lot of people on the internet say, they say Jamal Charlo's nothing but a bum. They say Jamal Charlo's overrated. So if he's overrated, if he's a bum, why doesn't Canelo fight him? There's a reason why Canelo's not fighting him. And I don't think it's because he's a bum. I don't think it's because he's not a good fighter. Because we know Jamal Charlo's a good fighter. Don't let the Brandon Adams fight fool you. Styles make fights, right? I'd like to see Jamal Charlo fight Canelo. And he took a different approach in his quote-unquote call out of Canelo after the fight, he did call Canelo a true champion. He's done a lot for the sport of boxing. And, you know, he kind of changed his tune-up after the fight, you know, in the post, you know, the post-post-fight press conferences, the media conference after the fight, which wasn't televised, obviously, because, you know, Canelo probably doesn't know how to use the internet or YouTube anyway, so he'll never, he'll never find those videos. So I think it was a good approach to kind of be humble and praise Canelo Alvarez and to maybe trick him into fighting you next, but it's looking like Canelo's going to fight Sergey Kovalev. Um, that's not a fight I'm looking forward to. I wish Canelo would stay at 160 and, and kind of clean that division out. I think he has more to gain by staying at 160 and becoming undisputed. But does he really, can he really become undisputed right now? I mean, he doesn't have the WBC belt. In actuality, he's got the WBC. He got he got the fake belt, basically. Now, Jamal Charlo, I don't know what's next for him. He could fight Demetrius Andrade next. Andrade, that's, that'd be a good fight. I think that'd make for a great fight. But the key is to always get the cash cow or the best man in your division, which would be Canelo Alvarez. Triple G don't want to fight. He don't want to fight either. He don't want to fight Charlo, nor does he want to fight Andrade, right? But Canelo, I just can't, I can't pinpoint it. I don't know what his train of thought is. I know he's looking to preserve his career. He's had some great fights. He's been in the ring with some great fighters, but why stop now? Why not further cement your legacy? If the people are calling for you to fight a Charlo, they're calling for you to fight a Andrade, just fight him. I mean, Andrade is at least on the zone. Wouldn't that be an easy fight to make? You know, a lot of people say Charlo should have went over to the zone, but what would have been the point of him going over to the zone? Um, again, Andrade's over on the zone, and he hasn't gotten Canelo or Triple G as of yet. 
Granted, he's been more active. He's gotten a lot more fights, more than what we're used to seeing from Andrade, but he hasn't gotten that name that he's looking to get. So Charlo on PBC, it, the move was fine. You know, there was nothing wrong with that. Now, as far as his hand is concerned, what is July? We're in July right now. He's not going to get that fight for September. His hand's not going to be healed up by then. You know, after the fight, they asked him if his hand was broken. He said it'd be all right. You know, he got a broken left hand. Fracture. Some, something's up with the left hand. And that's not good for his future. So he's probably not going to get that Canelo fight anyway. But we'll see who Canelo fight. We'll, we'll probably get the news of the Canelo fight next week. And uh, we'll be here to critique it. But in terms of Canelo, we don't want to see you run up to other weight classes. We want to see you clean out the division you're in right now and become undisputed. Hitman Boxing, let me know what you guys thought of the fight. Charlo versus Adams. Thought it was a pretty good fight. I would have liked to see a knockout, but given the circumstances and the stylistic matchup of Brandon Adams, it proved to be pretty much impossible. But one thing I did notice, though, Charlo's got a strong jab. When he... He jabbed Adams at one point and staggered him. He got a strong-ass jab, one of them triple G-ass jabs. But, again, let me know what you guys thought of the fight. Thought it was a decent fight. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover that uh, Demetrius Andrade and Selecki fight. That was an interesting, interesting fight as well. Hitman Boxing, drop a comment, like the video, subscribe, and I'm out.